The Colorado Springs man is home tonight, almost two months after a crash killed his son and left him seriously injured. Rafael Hamid and his five-year-old were walking on the sidewalk near Murray and Bijou in July when a speeding car hit them. Radio News Channel 13's Dana Molina spoke with the Hamids about being home, the recovery, and their feelings toward the driver. Yeah, Heather James Raphael was in the hospital recovering from his injuries for almost two months. His leg was amputated because it was so badly hurt in the accident, and he was finally released last week. Being home with my wife is like making it to shore after you almost drowned out there because the, you know. The undertow is too great, and they pulled you ashore. That's my wife. She's the shore. It's awesome. I'm so glad to have him back. Raphael and Heidi Hamid waited for this moment for almost two months. Raphael knew things wouldn't be the same. The week before, I was just nervous. I was afraid because I never thought about being home, and, and my son's not there anymore. Ishak died in the accident in July, but in many ways, he is still here. We've got his urn up there, and of course I've got a picture behind there, and his fingerprints, his handprints up there. He did that. They're more or less just visual reminders, you know. He's he's firmly entrenched in here. Raphael came home to other visual reminders, the site of the accident, and the store he last visited with his son. I already had my hands up because the tears were flowing. Last time I was in this store, my son was with me. I'm going to miss him, and I'm going to make sure that I bring his attitude to this world. This boy was nothing but positive. The Hamids want to share that positive attitude with the woman accused of running over Ishak and Raphael. There's no animosities here. I don't hate her. I have no, no negative emotions towards them whatsoever. That's what my son taught me. Daddy, love. I want people to love each other. I want people to remember that there is no sin too great that can't be forgiven. If we could do this, and any and everybody can. And Heidi says she starts orientation tomorrow to officially become Raphael's caretaker. Lamida Newsplex, Dana Molina, KRDO News Channel 13. Mm.